joke. <laughs> and by the way, we are fallen angels, Nimrod. And if you knew the truth, you would know that. But you don't know the truth. So there you go. This is so good. I, I just got to make sure I get it. There you go. There's Enter the Stars. You can follow Cleck if you want. But Cleck has publicly come against me. Yeah, because you're a joke. In recent years, accusing me of stealing his work when just the opposite is true. Okay, so I go click on his channel and he's doing a movie. He's doing a live video of Omicron. In recent years, accusing me of stealing his work when just the opposite is true. Okay, so against me, yeah, because you're a joke. In recent years, accusing me of stealing his work when just the opposite is true. Okay, so I go click on his channel and he's doing a movie. He's doing a live video of Omicron, which is what this whole video is about, where he's leaving the comment. Tell me he's not a joke. Someone tell me he's not a joke. That's a joke. That means he's a liar. A de See, the deceivers are the ones. Deceivers. Deceivers. They're deceivers. You're a deceiver. Come against me, yeah, because you're a joke. In recent years, accusing me of stealing his work when just the opposite is true. Okay, so I go click on his channel and he's doing a movie. He's doing a live video. In recent years, accusing me of stealing his work when just the opposite is true. Okay, so I go click on his channel. What happened? The kingdom was set up on earth by Satan. Through Adam and Eve, the cannibalistic world government. It's already been set up, guys. A lot of you have no idea about that. Oh, the one world government's going to come to fruition, guys. It's been here for a long time. Okay? It's been here for a very long time. But, anyway, back to what I was talking about. Right and wrong. Since we now have this dualistic nature, some people are going to be right, some people are going to be wrong. What's that going to cause? Have you ever gotten into an argument? You know why that is? Well, my friend. It's not because the other person was wrong or because the other person was right. Because you were both. Do you understand that? You were right and you were wrong. Because simply nobody can argue with somebody else. If they don't have a dualistic nature of right versus wrong. Therefore, you argue within yourself, manifesting that outwardly onto the world. And what this creates is war. So I really find it quite funny that everybody wants to blame the Rothschilds. Everybody wants to blame Trump. Everybody wants to blame Hillary Clinton. You know what Jesus said? <laughs> he said, I come. Not to bring peace, but a sword, guys. Why? Because, my friends... This is Satan's kingdom we're talking about. And guess where the war is? It's in us. It's in us. It's in you. Romans 7. Go read it. It's in you. But. My friend. It's understandable that we would not be able to come close to God. 
why will we not be able to come close to God? Well, because there's wrong in us, and God is righteous. Now, there is wrong in us. Oh my God, people are so dumb. I mean, really, 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 really dumb. How are you going to tell somebody that they're wrong when they don't even know where you're coming from? It's coming from you. You're the one telling them they're wrong. So you know they have no idea what you're talking about, literally. So it's, it's, it's fucked up, isn't it? It's, it's the devil, man. He's the author of confusion, guys. It's Babylon. Babel means confusion, guys. Um, Revelation 18, tell me that's not completed already. It's the belly of the beast. It's the prophet Jonah spoke with God. He knew God. God told him to do something. He didn't do it. What happened to him is he found himself in the belly of the beast. Guys, we're literally in the belly of the beast. If you don't do what the Lord says, you're going to find yourself there. You do what the Lord says by absolute faith, not by hearing with your senses, smelling, listening, tasting, anything like that. You surrender to his will. Not by hearing little fowls in your ears telling you what to do. Okay. I mean, we're all going to do what he wants us to do. And that's the truth. It really is. But what it's explaining is that we're here in the dualistic nature that Satan offered us. Right and wrong. Okay. This, everything has to happen. Guys, the one world government has been here for a very, very, very long time. The mark of the beast has been here for a very, very, very long time. What is the mark of the beast, do you ask? <laughs> that the law is spiritual, but I am carnal, sold under sin. For that which I do I allow not, for what I would, that do I not. But what I hate, that do I. If then I do that which I would not, I consent unto the law that it is good. Now then, it is no more I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. For I know that in me, that is in my flesh, dwelleth no good thing. For to will is present with me. But how to perform that which is good I find not. For the good that I would I do not. But the evil which I would not, that I do. Now if I do that I would not, it is no more I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. I find then a law that when I would do good, evil is present with me. 
For I delight in the law of God after the inward man, but I see another law in my members, warring against the law of my mind, and bringing me into captivity to the law of sin which is in my members. O wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from the body of this death? I thank God through Jesus Christ our Lord. So then with a the mind I myself serve the law of God, but with the flesh the law of sin.'"